everybody, and welcome back to Sit In It For A Bit with Arne and Carlos. And we are, as always, your hosts, Arne and Carlos. And Sit In Bit is our weekly podcast where we talk about our life, we recap everything that's going on around here, we talk about <laughs> projects, we talk about knitting, crochet, embroidery, and, you know, a lot of other what stuff. What did you call it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I think you, did, you said, like, Sit and Bit or something. Well, that's the Norwegian way. Yeah. Huh? yeah. Okay. This is a bit. Okay. So welcome to sit and knit for a bit. Yeah. I just think that's the name of the podcast. <laughs> Last time I checked. Yeah. Anyway, it's well. it's lovely being back. We have uh, we have returned from Trondheim. Actually, we returned a week ago, and um, it was a great trip. Yeah. It was nice to be out seeing yeah. people again. Actually. Yeah. We were. A bit uh, scary, yeah. but. And it was lovely staying at the Hotel Britannia because it's a five-star hotel, and the staff there really took very good care of us so um yeah it was and you like to be pampered i love being pampered don't you <laughs> a little bit sometimes. yeah i love people yeah you don't what well, you yeah i love being pampered uh, i like the environment yeah the beautiful old hotel yeah. yeah it was a nice stay in trondheim we're not telling you what uh what we've been doing but maybe you've been you know a little cheeky and looked around on social <laughs> media and you've found something about our stay in Trondheim. If you have, don't put it in the comments field, please. Let it be a surprise for everyone else. But yeah, it was a, it was a great stay. Um, it was nice coming back home, yeah. but we enjoyed it a lot. It was very strange. It was very strange being out with people, and, but the champagne wasn't free. No, alas, it was not. So we didn't get any. No. Because you know, what was the, the, the normal, the saying is champagne has to be dry cold and free yeah and this was probably cold <laughs> it was probably dry and cold but it wasn't free <laughs> it so wasn't we didn't free, have any so it's, it tastes better when it's free yeah it you does feel like you want something yeah it's like me when i find something in the thrift store yeah i yeah. feel i win something because and you did didn't you you I found, found something found something yeah arne even if we were super busy busy in trondheim arne had time to go out and I needed shop. to have like a souvenir because we haven't been out for a long, long time. So yeah. I found a nice, what do you call that in English? Potter, surely? A little pot. It's a, it's a ceramic pot and you can put a plant or a pot. It's in like it. the style that's called Majolica or. In French it's Barbotine. Barbotine, but this is a Nor Norwegian mm. one. It's a lovely thing. So I don't know what it's, it's probably called something similar. And I'm, you collect those. I collect them. I want to have like a shelf. Full of them, yeah. Full of these yeah. pots because they are so beautiful. They're like flowers and insects and so many nice yeah. and, stuff. On yeah, them. and the one you got was, I mean, usually the ones we buy are French or Spanish, yeah. or, but the one you got was Norwegian. It was Norwegian, so it has like uh, leaves and like acorns. Acorns. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's very beautiful. So I'm so happy. I brought yeah. home a souvenir. You did, yeah. I mean, though, I, I, I had no doubts that you were going to do that. <laughs> Uh, mm. And it was a great, it was a great thing. It's actually very beautiful. I wasn't with him at the time because I had some other stuff to do. Someone has to work. Someone has to work and to pay for all the stuff you buy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm paying for myself. Well, yeah, you're yeah. right. But you know, we have to keep our business going as well. Yeah. So I needed to stay at the hotel and I worked really hard. Um, and then Arne came and, and yeah, when I saw that he had a big thing around his arm I was like you okay. were so happy well I'm always a little concerned at first because <laughs> I don't know what you bought and then of course I trust your good taste yeah. because I do I trust your good taste as well thank you yeah, yeah. although I don't bring home that much stuff no. do I well sometimes but you do like the hard the hard stuff like when you groceries shop. <laughs> that too but when you shop you shop really you really you're like you have black belt in shopping yeah I bring home like well you know I kind of save it up because you shop so you know often you, you buy like a little a little thing uh, often and then I don't so that <laughs> it kind of you know keeps brewing and then you know from one day to another I realize that okay I need to shop but I saw some thing on YouTube and then I buy something really big you, yeah a big it's really hard to get in like normally when you do something it needs yeah. shipping I can bring it yeah. home in a suitcase or a bag but, so last thing I bought was over Instagram. It was in this, <laughs> this beautiful, this beautiful shop in Florence. Um, we have a good friend there, who has a shop, and it's all, it's vintage and antique stuff. 
And uh, yeah, Arne kept seeing this really nice I think bust. it was so nice. It was a, it was a, it was a, a wooden bust with these beautiful horns. Uh, on the, in the Actually, photos, it's, it's African. Coo yeah, but well, well, don't, 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 because oh, then okay. you're gonna. I spoil it. Yeah, you're gonna spoil the we thing. We should sit in front of that one. In the yeah, we'll do that one day. But anyway, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful wooden bust of a man, and then it's got these horns, right, going I think like it's that. A woman. It's, well, it's a woman. It's not a man. It's a person. It's a person. So there's a, a, it's a wooden bust of a person, and then you've got these horns going up like that. And in the photo, it looked like. Let me see if I can just let my go of my cup. It looked like it was about this big. Uh, and I'm like, yeah, I'll take it. And then he sent me the dimensions uh, because it had to be shipped from Florence here because I got it through Instagram. And then when I saw the dimensions of the box and the price of the shipping, I was like, oh well, my God. did you do? But I'd, I'd already bought it. So we just had to, to ship it. And yeah, now you can say, tell about the horns. Oh, they because are they're from, real. They're real. There are. And they're old. They're from how? Old? They're from the uh, late eighteenth century. Yeah, and they are from. I think the, the animal is called a kudu. It's an African. It's like an antelope. Antelope. I think it's called kudu. Yeah. So if I you have can to Google, if it. you can imagine one of those African antelopes and these humongous um, horns, maybe you can understand how big this thing is. It's huge. It's massive. I don't think we would have been, I mean, if, if the bust would have been, it's, it's, it's on a stand, right? If we would have put the bust here, up here, you'd probably see it, but you wouldn't see the horns because there's no, no... that it's two yeah. meters at least. Yeah, and our friend, our friend in Florence told us it used to be in the Academy of Anatomy, hmm. in the Tuscan Academy of Anatomy, somewhere in Tuscany. So, so that's nice. nice and thing. it's, yeah, it's from the late 18th century. So but I, I watched this thing on YouTube sometimes. I know you don't like it. It's like... Hoarders buried alive yeah. or something. <laughs> That's you. <laughs> <laughs> and I was searching for like oh, antique hoarders, and sometimes I find nice th things. But I was thinking like, what happened the day we are done? Mmm. <laughs> oh, you're eating the, the, <laughs> eating the tea bag. <laughs> well, someone has to clean up. Yeah, the day we're that gone. That is kind of scary. And do you think people actually see the value of the stuff? I don't like... know, but I'm, I'm just gonna say this: the day we're gone is the day we're gone. We're not gonna take anything with us. And whoever, are you sure? Well, I don't think so. No. But the day we're gone, we're gone. And whoever gets to clean up, all I have to say is good luck. <laughs> <laughs> they have a big job. Good luck, yeah. And, 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 but it's uh, kind of scary. It's scary to think about that. Well, because it will happen one day. I think if we don't buy a, borrow a container and throw stuff away, but it's so hard to throw. Well, I we love can't throw nice things away. The idea of a container and just getting rid of all the crap is a good idea. But we did that like was when we started the renovation of the studio. We had three enormous containers yeah. and we managed to fill them with and, things we don't need, and things that was broken and things and from the house. My only comment to that is whatever we were going to throw, it sparked joy in Arne, so uh, we ended up not throwing away much because it all gave him a lot of joy. We throw, we had three containers, Carlos, that is a lot. Yeah, but... Well, the, you can't actually see it in one of the houses. Three containers is literally all the building material and a few... And a lot of other things. Uh, mm, they all spark joy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, but it's, you can't hardly see that we throw things away. That's what I mean. That's what I mean. And, and the good thing is I haven't missed anything. Mm. Of the things we've thrown away, I haven't missed it. So it means we didn't need it. Mm. Uh, I don't know. So, uh, but I guess people wonder now what happened with Helmer and Freya. Oh yeah, yeah. So first of all, we're back home uh, after staying in the beautiful Hotel Britannia. Strange times, uh, definitely. First time in a hotel in a very long time. It's lovely. I really enjoyed myself <laughs> in those beautiful, luxurious surroundings. Yeah, you didn't go to the spa, but that's for another I didn't time. go to the spa, no. But I did everything else. Yeah. So it was a great time. Um, Turid, uh, who is now sitting on Arne's shoulder, or it looks like it anyway, yeah. she didn't come because uh, we had her here. Uh, but she's back in business and, with us. And I mean, her, you read some of the comments what to do with Turid, and I will try the smaller plastic her, pot, see if that helps. Put so her that, in a smaller pot. Maybe I do it later today. Yeah. See if something. But now she has grown a little bit because there's more light. Okay. Yeah. Continue. So yeah, that, 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 yeah. So <laughs> we've been back for a week. We've been back for a week. Um, 
everything's beautiful. Uh, we're in mud season, not so beautiful. Uh, mud season meaning that when we walk around uh, outside and take the dogs for walks and go into the woods, we bring all of that indoors. Mm. Uh, but that's typical of March. Oh, sorry, no, March, April, May. May, we're in May, May now. It's May now. It's typical yeah. of May. And uh, there is an issue with the... Um, I have an issue with that, but we live in the mountains, so... So if you go to the valley down there, it's a little bit greener, but up here, it's all muddy. It's and not much green yet. Sorry? It's not so green anywhere, I think, yet. Because it's been very cold. It's not normal. Yeah, that's true. They say on the news it was like snowing somewhere. Mm. Anyway, mud season, okay. uh, boring, uh, don't like it here around this time of the year. Uh, so, But it's been okay being home. Helmer has been um, great. Yeah. We, we left Trondheim last Monday. So uh, we, did, uh, we filmed our sit in it for a bit in Trondheim on Sunday. We left Trondheim on Monday, and today is Monday, the 3rd of May. So we're two days before we publish the podcast. So, so we've, been, we've been home for a week. This evening is a week since we arrived. Of course, we couldn't take the easy way home because we had to go through Lillehammer. And the reason we had to pass by Lillehammer was because we had to go get a, a new harness mm. for the safety belt for Helmer because we're going to pick him up at our, our, our friend's place. Um, and our friend is also our housekeeper, so um, some, somebody got confused about that. But anyway, we went to, to her <laughs> to pick him up um, through, through Lillehammer. Um, we a walked, dog sitter also. And dog sitter and everything. So we walked into the, to, to the pet store and we said, um, in Lillehammer, we said, we want the uh, thickest, um, biggest, um, strongest harness you have. Yeah. And, uh, and she had a really, it. you know, it's like a, it's like a vest. Like the one you use when you go, like, like when they go and look for things after the yeah, war. What's it's that a, called? Yeah. Mine vest? Yeah, it's like a mine vest or something. <laughs> it's huge <laughs> and it's kind of heavy and, and it goes over your... Um, it's probably sh proof, proof shot. Yeah, proof it goes through the limbs of the dog and then it's kind of attached like this, clack, clack. Yeah. And it's... But he, he really don't like it. But he hadn't tried to eat it yet, but he freezed when you put it on. Yeah, well, yeah because I, would, would that, I walked down to pick up the car from the EU control. Yeah. Because we had to go with the car every second year to check if it's okay. And this is the Beetle, the Volkswagen. And we walked down and then he was in the front seat with his harness on. Mm. And he kind of froze. Yeah, he doesn't like it. He just and then the harness, back. so... it. It goes here, like click, click, and then here there's this this thing. There's like two things like that, and what you do is you sit the dog, and then you take the seat belt, and then it goes through those two things, and cluck, <laughs> and so the the dog is secured. Now my concern is he's not gonna bite the harness. He's gonna bite the yeah. the. No, but I think the problem, the thing is we have we can oh, leave him in the car with that yeah, because. Then um, he can. He don't eat it while we're in the car. No, no, no. So we don't. We can't put him or, in the car. Or or leave him in the car. Release him from. Yeah. I mean, he can wear the harness, but release him from yeah. from the safety belt. Whatever. Anyway, so we got that, and that one is easy. It takes me um, twelve seconds to put it on. This was super but this easy. Is easy. Uh, we drove to uh, pick him up and Freya, of course, uh, poor Freya now, I mean, <laughs> he's taking all the attention and this poor little Freya is just looking at us, wagging her tail and she's still like in a bad mood because she's, she's quite grumpy nowadays, but, but I mean, we f I feel so sorry for yeah, her now, for he's been little. taking all the attention. Anyway, we picked him up, um, put the harness on, um, he hated it. We came here and after that we've been training him. Yeah. So now because we need, we need to teach him how to be more independent. Yeah, like you don't he don't have to come into the bathroom while you're doing your business. No, he doesn't have to. That do he that. liked it to come. So you have to close the doors. You have and to now we're leaving. We're going out, out. Like we go to the supermarket. We go. You know, I go to my my physiotherapy two two twice a week. So so we leave him alone here with well not alone with Freya. And now we're ignoring him when we come in the door. I think that helps actually, because yeah. now when we started to ignore him ignore him yeah he don't jump at us anymore yeah we're not making a big deal out of yeah. him being alone because so when, we, when we said oh and Freya, how are you and uh, even Freya stops to jump yeah because we don't we ignore them so we say to Helmer and Freya before you know they see we're leaving we just look at them and we say pasa huset which means take care of the house and they understand what that means so yeah. you kind of see the tail goes down a little bit and the <laughs> and the head goes down a little bit and then they stare at us 
Uh, and when we leave, they don't even try to come with us. No, because Freya jumps in the, in the sofa. And he just wall, stands and there and just looks at us. And he, he stands there and then... We go out. We go upstairs because yeah. he likes to be in the chair in front of a window. In front, so we can mm -hmm. see the lake because then he can see over to the neighbor because he has a girlfriend yeah. now. Yeah, he does, yeah. Anyway, more about the girlfriend later. But then we come home. I go in, I open the door, and then as soon as I open the door, he runs out to greet us, but we ignore him now. So we kind of walk in, mm. we just walk in into in the door, take our shoes off, take our jacket off, and if we were grocery shopping, bring all the groceries in the kitchen, let them go, and then maybe start unpacking a few of them, and then, you know, acknowledge him when he's, you know, calmed down quiet, again. Yeah. And that worked really well. So He's also out of the bedroom. Mm -hmm. He used to, you know... He would not. He, he would not want. He didn't want to sleep alone, and we've gradually been been kind of getting him no, further and further and further. Also. Yeah. So at one point he was sleeping in the bathroom. That's over. <laughs> That's over as well. So now he's in in the library, which is uh, closest to the bedroom. Yeah. And you know the problem. That what if? And that works. If it, what if Freya behaved like him and he behaved like Freya? That has been so much easier. Yeah. Because he's, <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's yeah. so tiny. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, we've got him in a cushion on the floor. There's a beautiful uh, blanket that we did in garter stitch and he lies on that and we've been giving him treats as well. Mm. So so um, we take a treat and we you know show it to him and then when he lies down on that we, we we take the treat and we put it close to the to the to the blanket and then he has it. It helps actually. It helps yeah. and, and but we can't shut the door. No, because so, then he will start barking. Yeah. So if I go to bed and I tell him to stay, and then I go to bed and then I'll see him at the door and then I say go 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 away go to your place I say go to your place in a very calm kind voice not like angry like go put plus in. I don't think go angry works with that. No, it doesn't work. No. Yeah. And, and and then he looks at us and and that's like a kid so. So right now we have like a, a three-year-old who won't go to bed. You know the three-year-old, you put in bed, you leave the bedroom, and then he's standing in the door or standing behind you. That's what we're facing yeah. right now. But we have But it's working. Uh, it's working and it has to work because if, our, if they're going back to our friends, mm. he has to behave a little bit more. So we were a little nice. bit concerned. So when we were there, <laughs> we asked them, um, you know, how did it go? And then they told us about the drama and the stress. And then they said things went better a few days after. Yeah. And then I asked them uh, straight out. So, would I mean, would you would you be okay with uh, <laughs> would you be okay with taking care of them again? And then there was this silence. And I was like, <laughs> what <laughs> was going on here? There was a there was a silence of I don't know 30, 40 seconds before they said, um, yeah. And then I said, you said yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then Arna started, no, 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 we can, you know, we can go there. Oh, and I, I said to Arna, they for said it. yes. Yeah. And then she came on Friday yeah. and she told us that, was so quiet. that they were thinking about it again because, and it was so quiet. So she said, of course, we'll take care of them. So again. there's hope. There's hope. But, but if not, we have other solutions. Yeah. But Freya is always nice. She's always welcome. She's easy. Because yeah. she's so easy and it's like her second home. So yeah. she has no problem, but... <laughs> He will probably yeah. change after a while, but the the bad thing is like, like in the summer we want to go and with a beetle, mm. and you can't have a dog in the car without putting like safety belts or something. Yeah. And well, the beetle doesn't have safety belts well, the in thing the back is, of the yeah, car. So the rules are really weird. It's very strange. Yeah, the rules are really weird because if you have a if you have a vintage car, an old car, um, and back in those days. There was no requirement to wear a safety belt. You don't have to. So our friend, who lives on the other side of the lake, she has a Triumph from 1956. It's a convertible, mm. and there are no safety belts, and it's allowed. It's it's legal because that's how the car was when it was produced or mm. manufactured. Our car from 1968 has seat belts on the front, but not in the back. But not in the back. And technically, a person is allowed to sit in the back without those safety belts. A dog, on the other hand, is not. So, so that, that means if we go with Helmer and Freya, Helmer has to be in a cage, like behind no the seat in the back. In the beetle. In the beetle. There's no space for a cage that big for him. So he has to sit. You have to have her on the floor. No, he has to sit <laughs> in the front seat, and then 
I have to sit in, you the, have back to be in the back seat with my legs up my chin because there's no space there's there. There's no space for you. But maybe you have to have Freya on the floor. And Freya can be then. Freya can be yeah, where can she be? She can be in the K in her in in a cage. Yeah, or we can have that bag we used in the airplanes and put her behind yeah. the back seat. Anyway, very it's complicated. It's very complicated. Very so complicated. we're not going to take the dogs for a beetle ride. I don't know. We'll think about it. Then you have to be in the back. You really want to be in the back? Well, if we have a logistic problem when we go on our trips, we have a logistic problem. We should problem. install safety belts in the back because that's possible. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that, that could work. So, yeah, anyway, lots see. of <laughs> our life is complicated. It's not um, boring. It's never boring. Um, and now we've been here for a full week. So today's Monday, um, and we've been working quite a lot this past week. Because mm -hmm. always when you go on a trip or something, there's always to tons of things to do when you get back. So we've got we've got things to do around the house. We've got all the little plants that we're sowing now, yeah, and, and we also have to clean a lot because the the snow. Yeah broke down a lot of trees and yeah, then snow the, is melting yeah, and the people who clean the roads they also come they came and they shop trees so mm. it wasn't nice around the house because mm. the road is not just outside the house so there was like there's the trees everywhere and yeah. I, i've been yeah. cleaning because mm. and it's a lot of wood for the a lot of clearing so, to do and but we chop the wood of those trees and we bring it in yeah because it's it looks so bad so mm. the, the the road into the house is not nice with all these trees falling No, and over. it's mud season, so it's really ugly yeah. right now. So there's a lot of things to do outside and then our spring cleaning never stops. Never stops. It's, I think it will be summer cleaning as well. Yeah, and in Maybe addition also. to that, we're working, for, you know, we updated our web shop uh, with the new pattern. We did the Audem blanket that a lot of people are enjoying now. We'll talk about it in a bit. Um, and we're working on a new pattern. Everybody wants to know, you know, where the poodle is. Because we showed coming. the poodle, um, I think last year, and the poodle's coming, so we're working on that. So there's a lot of, a lot of stuff to do, and really? then and then I've got a lot of other stuff that I that I'm doing. So yeah, it's it's been it's been hectic a hectic week. Yeah, and 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 we were thinking like we should make those fall costumes for 17 of May, make yeah. finish the jackets. But we, we have bad news. We really we we really don't have time. Yeah, so Constitution Day is coming up very soon, huh? mm -hmm. on May 17th. Yeah. Uh, and we're going to be celebrating it in Oslo, as we always do, or as we've been doing for the past years with our friends. Um, and uh, unfortunately, the jacket is not done. And um, Constitution Day, Sutnama, is a very formal occasion in so Norway. We mentioned like it before. Two weeks? Or? Yeah. We can't wear the folk costume on Sutnama without the jacket. There's just no, no way. That looks strange. Unless, unless there's a heat wave. If there's a heat wave, it will be allowed, but that's not likely. But so, you can't go out among people not wearing the jacket. No, you have that to wear the jacket. And, and that's a thing. In, for Sutnamai in Norway, National Day, either you wear your fall costume or you wear a jacket and tie. It's mm -hmm. really jacket and tie required. Or you stay at home. <laughs> or you stay at home, yeah, we could have stayed home. <laughs> but the young kids, they don't care. But we're, yeah, we're even, older. The, even the young kids are but dressed They put on up. a suit. I mean, your nieces and nephews, when they were, or you, say your nephews, when they were small, didn't they have those cute little sailor outfits? I wonder if it's small, but I've seen younger people who they wear just jeans and have you normal clothes, yeah, in between all the folk costumes. I've seen it. Uh, I don't know. I'm not so sure. I've seen a lot of mini folk costumes yeah, those, as well. Those, they're, they are they're the of, cutest. They have all the ki most of the kids have something. Yeah. Anyway, the jacket the jacket has a lot of issues and oh and there's several reasons why not start. Okay, so the the first reason not starting the jackets is because uh, I mean, first we were in the hospital. I was in the hospital for like a long time, and then after that we had a lot of catching up to do, mm -hmm. and it's just been actually a very busy time for us uh, and yeah. the past month. So, so we didn't have time. That's number one. Number two, um, if we would have started the jackets now, um, we wouldn't finish anyway because there's a lot of. Actually, it's very easy. What we were supposed to do, we're supposed to, you know, put the sew the different parts of the jacket. Yeah. Uh, the problem is that there's an inner lining that has to be attached with these little stitches by hand. Mm -hmm. And there's like these embroidery seams on the... Yeah, uh, on the outer part. And, 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 but, but when you're attaching the inner lining, you're also shaping the jacket mm -hmm. and you need to attach the, the, the sleeves in a way that you can reattach them and you need to do a lot of fittings. Yeah. So it's a lot of, it's easy work, it's just very complicated it's or, or, or you tedious. It's kind of, to be focused and the other problem is you need to have space and we are kind of losing space right now. Yeah. 
because we have to redo the fireplace in one room and tear up the floor. Tear up the floor. So that will be like in. We have to clean weeks, the room yeah, now. Yeah. In in just before. 17 or maybe I have to clean the room. Yeah, and, and my then... fabric is white for my jacket. Yeah. Arne has a black jacket, I have a white jacket. Mm -hmm. And the problem is, if we start doing it now, and if we're not finished on time, and the jacket is out for some reason, and it gets dusty because of the renovation mm -hmm. process and that we're no going to be doing... there's space here, because we have to move yeah. a lot of furniture and stuff from the room we're renovating. And so, but for Christmas. Yeah, so I... anyway, last Christmas <laughs> we could wear the full costume without the jacket, because we were indoors, and mm -hmm. that's fine. But for Sutnamai, that's impossible. We cannot do it. So we're going to have to bring out the suits again, or a suit. Yeah. I have a, you have a couple to choose from, and so do I. Not many, but we have a few. A tie and a shirt, uh, unfortunately. Yeah. It's a little bit sad, but on the other hand, the Sutnamai this for... year is amputated as well. It's yeah, not gonna it be... won't be like it normally is. So. But we can hope for a really warm day. And then we will be happy not wearing the full costume, full costume. Yeah. <laughs> because it's warm. Yeah. So now you know. If uh, we might, sometimes we post uh, images of us wearing, you know, formal attire because it doesn't happen very often. So if we do, we'll, we'll, we'll If we end up going out, which I think we will, we'll be with our friends. We'll post a photo of us in our tie and mm -hmm. suit for you guys to see. So, but no full costumes. No. I don't think we're gonna do the jacket until the fall. I think the fall is a good time. Because mm -hmm. there's a lot of things happening this summer and... Yeah, and then for fall we don't have many plans and no. we're not traveling this year. So fall is going to be the time when we finish. So next Christmas we'll have the full thing. And maybe the second vest as well. Which we, maybe. we yeah. bought the we fabric. We have the fabric. Yeah. So we just need more time. Yeah, definitely and, more time. And space. Yeah, so those are the, <laughs> those are the updates on, uh, on those kind of things. Yeah. Um, and other than that, uh, we're busy, you know, getting yeah. getting stuff together. But, but we've been doing other st stuff. So, but but still, there's no excuse. It's not an excuse why we didn't make the full costume jackets, but we have made other stuff, mm. which I felt we had to finish. Yeah. So, like, I remember I talked about this jacket. I should retire. Yes, you did. So I I, I thought. I, it's so worn out and I was thinking I should cut out a piece and put that in the stash mm -hmm. in the archives but I decided to wash it and fix it no I will I washed it and I'm gonna pack it away and oh, okay. keep it the whole thing I preserve it the way it is and maybe one day I can fix it so it's this this jacket this one because mm, I, I, I like I think, that I think the pattern is so nice but there's so much to men on, on a lot of stuff in this house mm. so I decided I'm not going to do it right now yeah see, big, hole. big hole there that's actually the only thing isn't it yeah but it's like the, there's threads broken somewhere mm, here and, okay, and yeah. The, yeah so but I, but I this one is knitted nicely on the inside yeah, this is this is nice yeah it's really nice there was there's one one thread that was this one I guess I put the finger in there or something so I had to sew it down. But I started to do a leftover sweater from with the same pattern. I'm oh, sorry. So this will but this is like there's no plan, but it's the same pattern. I just mm. use leftover yarn and this is thicker. So I'm gonna knit something. Mm -hmm. So I, I created a new UFO. A new UFO. But the colors are strong. I, I like the colors. Yeah, but I don't, I have no plan. I just yeah. see what happens. So you create a new UFO and it's recent, but yeah. you have finished uh, the blind woman's UFO. That is finished. I just have to find a nice wool fabric. Or, or, or she's dead or, or she's not. We don't know. No, but but I, fi I finished it and I'm going to find, find some nice wool to, to sew on the back. Yeah. And I washed it because it was kind of a little bit dirty. Yeah. Because I think washed it by hand. Did, yeah. did. Because I think this one is really old. And I also started now to, to make a new design with this uh, hound's toot and a flower hmm. on top. But we have, because I, I want to make one that is ours. Hmm. It's very cool. I like yeah. it a lot. It turned out beautifully. So I just Congratulations. To, thank you. I just have to sew it and... The back's also quite nice, I have yeah. to say. I sew it and uh, 
put in the pillow. I have to make the pillow because I can't find pillows this size. Mm. But this will be in the beetle. Yeah, you just get summer. some stuffing and you can just uh, do yeah, the pillowcase and then just stuff it and sew it. And that's so that. one UFO finished and then I started the second one. Oh yeah. I'm not changing anything. You're not? I think it's nice as, as it is. So now I started on this one. Mm, it's pretty. Was it called Krostersham in yeah, well, don't ask me what no. it is in English. Oh, you should have asked me before we <laughs> put on the uh, play, hit the play it's button. It's called the pillow in flat stitch. Flat stitch, there you go. It's gonna look like that. Hmm. That is uh, Kissen in cluster stitch. Okay, cluster stitch. Oh, so cluster sum. Same as in Norwegian. Norwegian. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna do this as it is. I'm not changing anything, but I saw on the, see, you see on the picture. Yeah. On the bottom here, the, this is this is different from this, mm -hmm. and I really don't know why, because oh yeah, it it kind of the balance is a little bit off in a way. It but is, I, yeah. I don't think I can make this one two times on the other side because maybe it's not enough yarn. Hmm. Who knows? Well, because it can be hard to find the same color. So we'll see. We, you will see when we get there, Arne. Yeah. But I think this will be in the beetle. In the back of the beetle. Oh, I thought that one was going to be... This is for the back, you know, in the back. Oh, so that's for the back, but in the front of the seat. In, in front of the seat, but for behind your back. my yeah. back when mm -hmm. I drive is a back pillow. Mm -hmm. But this will be in the back seat. Oh, good. Cool. But I, ha I have more and you haven't seen it yet. No, I haven't. Because I want to reveal it yeah. in front of the camera I'm and sure see you how you react. Mm. Because there are a few fun ones. I, think I can are. imagine, yeah, yeah. There's always something with Arna, mm. all the little projects that you buy, and now we have all the little projects that somebody gave us as well. So there's plenty to do here, I have to say. I think it's it's nice to it have. Is, yeah. And when I do these things, I feel like I'm cleaning. Mm. I'm not only cleaning other people's stuff; I'm cleaning our yeah, stuff. Yeah, sure, you're so. cleaning. I'm cleaning. Yeah. <laughs> And then, of course, everybody, or a lot of people have seen the video that we posted on Instagram, the one, um, and we posted it on, I think we posted it on YouTube as well, or if we didn't, we will, or we have. Or, I don't know. I don't know, but I, for sure it's on Instagram, and where we're kind of, it's it's for this, it's a video that, because we're working on this blanket now, and, and originally we made a baby blanket, but now we have started making it into a, uh, a, big, a big throw. And there's a there's a video if you haven't seen it it's on Instagram on our Instagram account our Instagram handle is Arne Carlos and there's a moose here somewhere moose 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 okay so <laughs> she found the moose anyway the uh, the video is of us kind of sorting going through the blocks uh, or the squares sorry going through the squares and kind of putting them on. Mm. On, um, like in the right order. Yeah. So, no, so we have piles of blocks. So now it's just. Yeah. And for those who are wondering, it's kind of sort of random anyway. We're just yeah. you know putting them and. But then we like it. We put them in, like. Yeah. Stack them. Stack them so we know where they in go. In which order yeah. they're going. Hmm. And and we had some questions why why we don't sew them together. Yeah. Well, that was a little bit of a thing because I was like reading. I saw a few comments, I think they were on, because we put it on our Facebook as well. Yeah. And I was like, because there was somebody who commented that, um, you know, it's a really nice blanket, but, and it's like, <laughs> when you read that, but, you know but. that there's going to be something there, not very good. So she's like, it's a lovely blanket, but, oh my God, to crochet, sorry, she said, it's a really nice blanket, but, oh my God, to sew all those squares together. So yeah, I replied, yeah. because I was like, really? So I replied to her, uh, we don't sew the squares together. We haven't sewn squares together for many, many years. Yeah, we crochet them together because what we love doing is crochet for this kind of project. It's crochet, not sewing. Yeah, because we think it looks nicer because when you yeah. crochet them together, you get a, like a nice frame around the block or the square. Yeah. And we have this, we have do, we've done this since we made our book Knit and Crochet Yeah, Garden. so we've developed several stitches or several patterns. That's for, 10 years ago. Yeah. yeah, and we've developed several patterns so that you can crochet the squares instead of sew them together. Yeah, we have different ways of doing it. Yeah, that way you, you prolong the fun and the enjoyment of the crocheting and you don't have to sew. So I, I wrote that and I thought, okay, so that's out of the world. But yeah. then somebody else <laughs> answers 
Yeah, but oh my god, all those all the loose ends to, to there's solve. Not, there's not so and I'm many like, loose ends. What, what, what is this? Why why is everybody so negative? And I'm thinking that's the uh, that's kind of like that. With that attitude, you won't get anything done. I mean, you have to be positive. Um, as, as, you know, instead of trying to find what's wrong with it, look for what's you know good. Mm -hmm. um, and I was like, no, that's not true because we have a you know as when you when you get when you become good at something, you get all these little you you learn all these little hacks, so you develop them. So we have a hack for that too. Yeah. So we don't sew in any threads. No, because as every time you can, you actually you crochet the tail with you. So you, when you do the second, the next round, yeah, you, you change the color. You, sh you change color, and then you also you also change the point where you start your cr crocheting. Because I know from workshops we've done, yeah, people, a lot of people when they stop when they finish the color, they want to start the next color from where they finish. But don't do that. Go to the and other side. And then you side. have like two ends on the same yeah. place. But we we cut cut the yarn and we pull the yarn through the last uh, stitch and then we go to the opposite side of the square and then yeah. we start and then you as long as you can you actually crochet around that tail yeah, so, what, do a video yeah so when you kind of when you do the final slip stitch and you release it right yeah and you cut the yarn you have a really tight knot there already so all you need to do is take that yarn put it down I mean Put take the, the yarn take it with you. Take, you put go. it down here. Put it, lay it down over the white, and then when you crochet, you just crochet over the yarn. Yeah, and we, and we, then we, you take a scissor, whatever is left that you you yeah. know, take a scissor and, and you cut, cut it. it, and then the yarn is you know through there. So there's no there's no real weaving in. So they're probably like sometimes like on this one maybe there are like one or two ends mm. at the most where you have to sew yeah. a little bit. Now we have. Like we have put all the colors in order, so now we are ready yeah. to crochet them together. Well, the colors are, I mean, we still pick up the blocks or the squares randomly, kind of. So Yeah, yeah, but when we have them... Yeah, in stacks. In, when we have put them on the on the floor in, in the right order, like mm -hmm. randomly, but in the right order in our ma in our head. We, yeah. We, we, we put them in stacks because if we like that mm -hmm. random order, that's the one the order we crochet them together in yeah. because we don't want to have some two blocks that looks very similar, similar next yeah. to each other so we try to move them around not to mm. have too much of the same color like in one place and somebody was commenting that it looked like a huge throw but that that video doesn't really give you a good idea because we did we've done the the baby throw mm. we've done that and now we're doing another strip of, of, of fabric and, and we're, we're going to join them. continue on this one also yeah. to make so it bigger. It's not really, it's not really that. Maybe it looks bigger because in norm, if, if it's a normal grandma square, they're bigger. So when, yeah, when, when you it's... see this, they are much smaller. So maybe if people think they are the normal grandma square, hmm. then it's maybe. enormous. But it's only 204 squares. So it's not a, I mean for the, for the throw that we're going to do. So it's not a big, a big one really. It's 204 squares um, with the joining around. Mm. So um, and each square is actually quite quick to do. Yeah. So it doesn't take, doesn't take very long to produce 204 squares. And if you, if you do a few squares and then you start joining and then you do more squares and you join as you know you do it that way, it actually gets um, easier I mm. think than if you do all the squares first and then you start joining them. Then you might get bored after a while. I don't know. It doesn't bore me though. No, I, I like to have a lot of squares before I start joining mm. because of the colors. Because, like, if you if you start if you start crocheting and joining at the same time, you can end up with a lot of the yeah, same that's colors. True, yeah, that's so, true. I think it's nice the way we did it, like the way we did it now on the video and how we normally do it. It's like we have a lot of the flowers mm. or the blocks and we put them out to get them in the right place. I yeah. like that one. Yeah, maybe you're right. Yeah, I think, I think I'm going to give you that one. And give me that one. Yeah, I'll give it to you. <laughs> but yeah, so first we did a baby throw and then now we're building up on that. So that's also an idea, you know, if you, if you start with the simple one, because we've got in the pattern, which, which you can get in our website, the pattern has indicate, uh, instructions for a baby throw and the adult. Hmm. But you can throw. do any size. It, like, yeah, basically, yeah. You could do a scarf of that if yeah. you didn't want to do a bigger... A bigger project. And you know what, what? It didn't help for the scrap, the scrap yarn, the leftover. Well, except for the blue, because the blue. The blue we had to buy we more. We had to go buy it because, because we, we didn't have out. enough in one color. But for the flat, for the squares, mm. we have still have leftover yarns. Yeah. And I was uh, cleaning in the other house this morning, and I found more. 
Yeah. A lot so of people also know. ask us about the yarn because uh, we say that you use your leftover yarns and then we have a, apparently a lot of DK yarn in our stash and, and the reason we have so much DK yarn is because we think that the DK yarn, which is about 22 stitches mm. per 10 centimeters, I mean, you it a lot. Uh, that you use the three and a half needle for or, or three mm. or hook, um, is actually very versatile yarn. It's probably the one that you use the most. Yeah, I think it gives a nice thickness to the it sweater. Does, yeah. And it, we used it for so many things. Yeah, we are, we, we are DK yarn lovers. Um, it's like, it's more like a Norwegian. Normal thing. probably yeah size. and then the know. times when we don't use the DK yarn it may be if we're doing socks then we use the sock yarn which yeah. is like a fingering yarn um, and or you can also use this just add some yeah, yeah, yeah like this uh, yarn that you may put in the heel no, and I'm so. thinking about the regular socks oh, yeah, yeah, yeah but that is thinner. that's fingering yeah. Yeah. and very rarely do we use other weights so it's mainly DK and some of yeah. our favorite yarns like alpaca soft DK from Rowan and and felt a tweed, they are DK yarns, so it's it's a... But, but the new leftover yarn sweater I'm working on, the one inspired of this one, mm -hmm. where did they put it? Yeah, it's gone. Uh, that is a thicker yarn, that's a needle four, I think. But we have a lot of that yarn also. Is it like a um, iron weight? I have no clue. I, I don't understand those English terms, because for me it's a yarn for a needle. Yeah, that's iron. Yeah. Yeah, Aaron. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Good to know. Good to know, yeah. And then we have also here the... Um, a lot of people wanted to see your beautiful sweater, Arna. So yeah. I thought I'd, I, brought it, I brought it to show it. And it's a little bit shorter than yeah, we I, normally do because... I can't wear it, unfortunately. In the wild you can. But I, I think it's nice. Yeah, what I love in particular about it, and you can see that if you look at our at our last sit in it for a bit. I love the red on the shoulders because it's really cool with the other colors and I like that the stripe kind of goes down like that and then you've got it also I like for around the sleeve. Normally you would also use red on the on the neck but I didn't have enough so I picked blue for the neck so it's a little bit different. Yeah but I like it and I like the red on the shoulder yeah. and uh, yeah the colors look uh, really good together. Mm -hmm. And this is made like the old way this is how I made sweaters when I was younger. Mm -hmm. So it's just based on the breast measurements and then you knit the body and from yeah. that you create your sleeve. So all you need is your, your, your chest your measurement, measurement bust. and you can also look at something you have before, like something with the volume yeah, yeah. You, li you like and do a swatch and then all you need is the these patterns, yeah. the, the sharps. Yeah. Charts. I can't say that correctly. The charts. Charts. Yeah. <laughs> and you'll, you'll, um, yeah. What you were you thinking of putting these charts um, on our blog or something? Maybe we should. I don't know. But we we won't. I won't. I don't want to make the pattern. Maybe Rowan can do it. Yeah, I definitely don't want to make a pattern for this. Because I don't. I don't like. Oh, why don't we just put well, the charts and then tell people how to calculate? Actually, their... we should do a master class. You mm. should tell, learn, teach people how to make a garment from any pattern. Yeah, that that's would be like great. how people did it in the old days. Yeah, yeah. Because there was like always a lot of no, there was not a lot of sizes in the old days. There no. were normally three or four sizes, and then people... I was looking at some patterns the other day. They really didn't give you much information. No, actually, back in, back in the old days, knew. yeah, back in yeah. the old days, the patterns um, they kind of assumed that you knew. A lot about knitting apparently so they wouldn't give you they wouldn't give you all the all the things you needed to know because they assumed that you knew that and yeah I think yeah and as you've told us a lot of times your grandmother has notes on her patterns. Yeah, because people took their measurements they they checked how mm -hmm. many stitches they needed and it's yeah. kind of it's, well, it's, really not, yeah. it's really not hard yeah if you, and if you think but nowadays it's more common to have all the sizes already yeah. graded and then you... But still, you, sometimes you have to do some adjustments. Well, I would think most of the times, because we're all different. Yeah, I you mean, can have, like a person who is 150 and another person who is almost 2 meter can actually have, they can have the same breast measurement. Breast yeah, measurement, or the, the yeah, arms are exactly, different. Exactly, different, different length of arms. Yeah, so you have to, to adjust a garment yeah. anyhow. and. Yeah, you're you, like you're the same you're all you're, I, I think I'm four centimeters taller than you yeah. 
no, I may, maybe I'm six centimeters taller than you, but my torso is much longer than yours. You have yeah, a short yeah. torso and longer and I'm legs. Like more squared. Yeah. You are more like a V. Yeah, and you so, have longer legs as well. Your that's legs why are I long. want my sweaters shorter because if they are like down around my yeah. hips, I look even more squared. Exactly. And then then you get that volume going in around the waist mm. because it rests on your hips. Mm. And but like even with like suits, yeah. like when we go and buy suits, we are technically the same suit size. Uh, usually I go right into my, I think I'm size 48 mm -hmm. in suits. I, I just go right into the suit without any alterations. There's yeah. nothing. I that, always need the, the sleeves are always the right length. The, the jacket seems, you know, proportionate to my torso and my upper body. The, the pants, usually the, the pants. Um, that they're you know when you buy a suit in the store they sew them up for you but nowadays um, the last two suits no there was one suit that was like a regular average medium size that actually had the pants sewn and it was my size as well everything was like for me yeah. and then you go and you buy the exact same size and but you need to, to have some alterations yeah, on the, especially on the, the trousers on the trousers and also because on the length of your of your arm no, they didn't touch that they didn't last time. but the trouser the trouser yeah it had to be altered, yeah. um, and then also. I don't think they touched the no, no, but no, sometimes no. I have to touch the jacket as well for yeah. you, so that, yeah. So we're all different, and uh, you know, same size, but for us we have the same size, but things mm. still fit differently. Which but is this, interesting. this way, this, like this old-fashioned way of doing a sweater, is really easy. Yeah. And because as long as you know your measurements, it's so easy when you knit like this. Mm. So, and then when it's long enough, you just stop. So we'll have to do a master class on that. Sometime. I think it could be cool to, to mm -hmm. try to do that. Yeah. Then we have a friend. We have a friend in Oslo, a really good friend, and um, she's knitting um, a Marius Genset, a Marius sweater, for her um, for a grandson. Yeah. And uh, she sent it to us because she doesn't have a sewing machine. So. And I'm she asked if we could do the finishing for her because the pattern actually it. calls for a she's sewing a good machine. Knitter. She's a great knitter. Yeah. And we're Here's... gonna we're gonna finish this one. So we're gonna we're gonna what you call Here's that? Sleep. You're gonna steak it, or we're gonna press it, steam it, steam and it. sew in the tails and all the stuff and steak it. And now I'm I'm adding a little bit on the sleeves because I think there was a, she was out of green, so I'm just yeah. making something in black on top to make that little the facing facing, so you yeah. can so fold over the raw edge mm -hmm. from the sticking. So that's yeah. kind of and then and then what what we'll do is or you'll do it. What you'll do is you'll you'll cut, you'll sew the you'll sew you'll cut and you'll yeah and sew it in my sewing machine. and then send it to her so she can finish the collar or whatever. Yeah, she she needs to finish it. Like it's nice to have that feeling that you yeah, finish. Yeah. But she doesn't have a sewing machine. No, she only wants you to do, she doesn't want you to do it for her. The only thing she wants us to do is help her with the part where you need a sewing machine. But you know, sometimes if you don't have a sewing machine, you can actually fix this by... If, if you finish, uh, if, you, if you knit up under the arms, mm -hmm. and then you start the sleeves. Yeah. And then when you have kind of increased enough, so you have the width of the, of the arm or the, on the top, do I have like insect or something in there? No. There's something there. <laughs> I thought there was maybe a, a spider. Leaf, maybe a leaf from a tree or something <laughs> yeah. outside. No, but if you knit up under the sleeves and then you make under the arms and then you do the sleeves and when you have the width of the arm, okay. when, you, when you have this width, then you can just uh, knit back and forth. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Then you don't have to to use the sewing machine. Yeah, but I think that this pattern actually called for that. Yeah, it's it always says it's use the sewing machine. Patterns. Yeah, mm -hmm. this the Marius sweater, um, traditional Norwegian. I think I haven't seen sewing old, machine. Yeah, but I've never seen an old knitting pattern where it says you should knit and purl, because people use the sewing machine. Yeah, but I think that this is a this, because this it's the Marius sweater. I think it's an updated modern pattern actually. But actually um, calls for the sewing, so you gotta sew. Gotta we're sew. gonna do it. I think it's nice. Mm -hmm. Nice to finish it. Yeah, so, it's very nice. And then I started this one because I find this old... This is old... Uh, relief. What's that in English? 
Like a lace, lace pattern. pattern. So I'll roll this. I, th I don't Ooh. know how old it's very old. Lovely felted tweed here. And, yeah, and I just wanted to knit like a scarf, or it could be like a summer scarf, maybe, mm. with that uh, pattern. It's beautiful. It's a very basic old pattern, but I changed colors. Mm. So, and then it, you get something different. To look yeah, at. I love the color choices here as yeah. well. Three colors. So, I think I'm I'm up to one ball in each color now. I I think it yeah. will be enough. Three balls. Three balls of yarn. You get I, a beautiful scarf in this stitch. But I it's love it. it's so fun when when you find this old pattern in like these books from the 40s and the 50s. And yeah. It's kind of fun to try to make them in other well, colors. Yeah, this is nice actually. Mm. A little bit longer. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm just looking at the colorway. The colors are nice. I like it. Yeah, I like those colors. I really like this. So, it's different it's from good. this. Yeah. This is more, this is stronger. So. And it's nice to do something from time to time that is not color work, huh? <laughs> <laughs> but that, that that is so easy. To like, do this. Yeah, when you yeah. when you when you done those needles a few times, you see when you look at the, what. Oh, you mean at, the rows? Yeah, and yeah. the rows. You look at the. The lace, and you see what you're supposed yeah, to. Yeah, it's really pretty. I'll it's put it up here. It's easy to easy to follow. It's lovely. Yeah, it's really nice. But it, but the pa the lace is very old. Yeah, you didn't invent it. This no, is no, kind no. of uh, it so was already there, and yeah. we're just making. But there's so many nice old lace. So patterns. tell me, is this part of your uh, cleaning? Yeah. Yeah. So you cleaned <laughs> you cleaned three balls of yarn. Yay. Yeah, and then we got all this. Yeah. yeah. I promise you that if I ever bring a container in, I'll never throw away the yarn. No. I promise you that. You better not. No, I better not. I know that. But there's a lot of other stuff we could throw away. Not really. <laughs> mm. Mm. There's a few things that I, you know. Things. But yeah, you never know. One day, one day you, uh, you come home and I've done it. Mm. No, I'm kidding. I'm not no, gonna you're not. Gonna I'm not going to do that. But yeah, it's tempting. Uh, what, I, what I will have is a discussion with you um, at some point, a friendly, amicable discussion. We're going to have the, and I'm going to have a glimpse in my eye and I'm going to be smiling and I'm going to be saying, so Arne, today we're going to get, you know, we're going to play a new game. It's called throwing things we don't need away or giving them to charity because that's also a thing. Oh, that's it, yeah. Yeah. And then, and then, you know, and then you're going to say that this sparks joy and then this sparks joy. And you get a lot That's of joy like, of that. Is that like the Marie Kondo? Marie yeah, Kondo. I'm using her as a reference the here. Sparks joy. Yeah, um, because uh, apparently. Um, you know, for me, everything sparks yeah, joy. Yeah, exactly. You'd be <laughs> a very bad guest on her show. Uh, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I, I tried to watch it. I think I said it before. Yeah. I, I couldn't see it. I, yeah. I think it was so disturbing. <laughs> disturbing that <laughs> she throws things away or that. No, the way people like, were willing to throw their things away. And she was so happy. It's like, oh, I'm gonna fix it. I was like, no, <laughs> come on, that's not yeah. how it works. <laughs> well, it is. Not for me. No, apparently no. not for you. I'm not for you either. Well, no, I mean, no, I, I have. There's things that we don't need. Yeah. Um, yeah, and we have, you know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's things that we don't need. We but, have a chance to clean now. But I respect one room when we remove. Yeah, that. We have to but, but that room has nothing to clean away, nothing to take out. But you don't know. Well, you, you don't remember. Remember, I told you. Those rooms downstairs are perfect. But don't you remember? I said something about something. I suddenly remembered we had in that room, and you had forgot about it. What was that? In the in the the table is like a what you call a hista. The, like, Kufert, oh yeah, like a the, suitcase, like like a trunk, trunk, yeah. and in that trunk. Oh, the bowling things! Yeah, we have yeah, done yeah, yeah, bowling. Yeah. Did we talk about that in Sit and No, we've never talked about it before. It's so embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> because we went to Sweden. Yeah, a couple of years ago, we were in Sweden at a friend's fiftieth birthday, and we went into this um, barn or something. Like an antique shop or well, second was, hand? Yeah, but it was an Thrift antique store. And they had this really old kind of. They were antique. they were antique. Yeah, and they're like bowling pegs, Bowl, yeah. but Huge. but they're really big and heavy and, and quite beautiful. They are they are so yeah. beautiful. And I was visioning like when the studio is finished, I was looking. I saw this picture where these big bowling things were standing. Like, like a sculpture. A sculpture. 
That is something. Anna said, Carlos, look at this. This is going to be an amazing sculpture. And I go, yeah, right. And uh, but 30 so minutes amazing. later, we were loading them into the car. There's and, no, and and 10 then of we, them. We wrapped is it 10 maybe? 9 or 10, I don't know. How many are there in bowling? I anyway, I anyway. I've been in that casket for a long time. Yeah, anyway, so we have this trunk. huge trunk that is that is our, our coffee table. And the other day, Arne mentioned that uh, that's where they ended up. Yeah, so because I was thinking there. about we have to clean that room. And then I remembered, like, I was thinking, like, what's in this, this yeah. uh, trunk? And then... I remembered. So they came into And Norway. I asked, do you remember what's in that one? And you, you said, like, no. <laughs> so they came into Norway by car, by us, and then we took them out of the car, put them in the trunk, closed the trunk, and they've been there for two years. So that's, yeah, that's... Um, Actually, I think we should clean the wall and we should put up a table and put them in between us on the sit and knit one so people can actually see how beautiful Well, they, they are, are beautiful, but we haven't actually had any use for them. Um, but, but, but you know what? I... Okay, let's put it this way. If if we bring in a container, those are not the first things we're going to clean up. No, no. You know what I mean? No. Those are fine. And you know, I'll you know, one day you'll get your sculpture or we'll put them up and play golf or oh, no, oh sorry, not golf. Bowling now we have the like the grass, the grass in the garden. Yeah, there. we could do it there. So that that's fine, you know. I'm thinking of other things that hmm. like uh, like Bring it on, come on. Well, <laughs> you don't remember. It's really hard. You don't know until you see. Off the top of my head. Well, we've got some old furniture that I don't want. Yeah, we have. Yeah, these old beds and these old nightstand tables that we had before. Where are they? Well, they must be there somewhere. <laughs> oh, you mean those from the 50s? Yeah, with the doors? I don't want those. Kind of Our nice. neighbor threw away a sofa from the 50s. That one we throw away. We don't oh. have that anymore. Oh, we throw that away? Yeah, yeah, oh, that's good, that. good, good work. Because good work. it was um, in, the, in the, out the studio and it was open like the, yeah. the swallows. Is yeah, that the word? Yeah. They came in and they did, pooped, did, all over they it. pooped yeah. on the sofa. Good, good. It was all over. Because I'm glad have, that sofa's gone because I didn't like it. No, that was a little bit like too flat. It was something wrong with it. So. When we had the containers, I throwed it in the container. Good, 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 good. good. But okay. then I was down in the garbage place and I saved another sofa, which you probably don't mm. remember. Remember that one? Yeah, you saved. He saved I the sofa. I saved it from the garbage because it was like from the 50, 40s or 50s. It was very beautiful. Yeah. It was. <laughs> The pillows were green on one side and red on the other. I don't think so I've can, seen it. I, no, I don't think you have seen it because I. I was a little bit, I felt I shouldn't have done it, but I did it. And I came up to the house and you were indoors and I just carried it into the, um, one mm. of the storage place. And I, I have things on top. Okay. And you're never in that room, so you, you no, haven't seen that it. That room gives me anxiety. But I think when you see it, you will love it. We'll see. The only problem is that one of the arms, what do you call that? Like the armlene. The arm, yeah, the arm support. The su yeah, it's broken. But I'm going to fix it because I'm going to copy mm. on the other side and I'm going to shape it and glue it and fix it. You, it will be so beautiful one day. Okay. Well, at least you have a vision for it. But it's almost like the favorite, your favorite chair in the TV room where the helmet is sleeping when you look over the lake yeah. to watch it. That's a nice chair. Yeah, it's, it's that style. It's no, okay. 50s. Well, that's not bad. But we don't have space for it. Not now. Not but now, but maybe one day. We can, all, we can build the... Yeah. <laughs> exactly. We'll need to build more rooms and then we'll have the space. <laughs> so that's, how, that's Arne's thinking. Oh, I'll just buy this stuff. In I'll case, just grab it because in case, in case we build some rooms in the future. Or maybe we move to a bigger house somewhere. Really? I think that when you get to our age, you don't start thinking about moving into bigger houses. You start thinking about maybe you That's should That's what everybody's downsize. saying. Like, oh, when you get older, you will downsize. You will move from the house to a flat. You don't want to have a garden. You don't want to have stairs in your house because yeah. you can't walk. When you're stairs. 90, you don't want to have that. But I, I can't think like that. No, I, 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 I think I'll take that problem when it comes, if okay. it comes. Yeah, well, it will come one day. You, maybe. No, I, I, maybe. But then you're probably so 
bad that you're not at home anyway. Yeah. Anyway, um, I don't have a problem don't with Arnes hoarding because it's in another house that we have here in our property. So if I don't want to see it, I don't have to go there. Um, you have a problem with the studio in this house. The yeah, the, my uh, my your, work. Yeah, your studio is a little messy for me. Yeah, I'm a Virgo after all. Anyway, Arne, it is. I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying. It is your studio, so you can do whatever you but want. You in have there. stuff in there also. Well, not much. Something in here. Yeah. Well, there's not much that is mine in there. Oh, some paper and some. Yeah, some. Yeah, okay, some papers that are mine. Yeah. But other than that, maybe some books. Many books. Okay, so I have some stuff in there. <laughs> but anyway, it's your and studio. Clothes. Oh yeah, the full costumes are in there. And. More. There, there's a lot of things. I just haven't seen it for a while. <laughs> I took the Christmas tree out. Yeah, when? The uh, other day? No, a few weeks ago. Yeah. <laughs> 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 because we were in a hurry and I had to remove one of the Christmas trees. Because... One of the Christmas trees. Yeah, but this is like a fake tree. I saved it. Yeah, I know. It's fake. It's plastic. I saved it from a container. Another Christmas tree? <laughs> Are you but, kidding but, me? But I put it in the bunk bed. But we but, but the... we have two. No, we have three. We have two. <laughs> okay. Actually, we have five. <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> because I'm gonna help my brother and clean my father's house because my are you father blushing? is in. Yeah, I feel so guilty because my father is in a place. Uh, what do you call that? For older yeah, people? he's in an older person's home. Yeah. So, because he can't stay at home anymore, so we're gonna clean up in his house. And I know I have two more Christmas tree trees. Okay. So somewhere in the act, I feel so embarrassed. So if I'm understanding correct, I know that we have two because we purchased two because you wanted one up here and one downstairs, yeah. and we got fed up uh, after we after the car broke down with the Christmas tree in the tree, uh, the, with the Christmas tree in the car on top of the car and it broke down. If you've heard that story when we went to buy Christmas trees and they were sold out and all of that, after that we decided the two Scandinavian princes opted for plastic trees so we have one for upstairs that I know I bought with you and then we have one for downstairs that I also know I bought with you but apparently we don't, we don't have two we have five trees but I haven't seen two of them in a long time and they are from the 80s yeah. I had them when I lived in Oslo I lived in this small um, hubel you know like apartment apartment and like even if I had only one room, I wanted to have some Christmas okay, trees. So. so there was this shop. They had like these very cheap Christmas trees. Mm -hmm. Like it's like a branch, and you it's folded up. Yeah, those are not so nice, and that's what we're getting. We have them. We have two of them. <laughs> no, we don't. I never bought any of those. I don't remember this. No, but they're like from way back in time, and you can't throw these things away. It's plastic, so you have to use yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Anyway, so apparently we've got loads of Christmas trees in this house. Actually, today. you can throw them away because we have a good recycle system. Yeah, you see? Anyway, Christmas trees galore here in, in the Arne and Carlos uh, house. So. But I know those two Christmas trees, they are somewhere in my father's house. Mm. Because I know... Couldn't I have... they kind of stay there? I mean, do they really have to... No, we have to clean the house. Yeah, but do they have to move here? Couldn't they just... But I was thinking, like, we could always have, like, one on the veranda outside and in the greenhouse there could be one. And I'm also thinking mm. about the, the studio because we have those big windows and it could be really nice when you go skiing in the afternoon and you can see there's a Christmas tree. Okay, so you, you're planning for next Christmas already, yeah. Always. Always planning for Christmas. Okay, Arne, I think that with that, I think we're going to leave this discussion. <laughs> but do you, but wait, like... I think it's on, like in like in the end of this month. I guess I will be with my brother and sister, and we will clean the house and like look for stuff. Like I have a lot of stuff up in the attic. Yeah, I think I may want to have a do a deal with you guys. Do not bring anything here without me seeing it first, because I want to say yes or no as well. I want to have the right to say. I want to have the right, the first right of refusal. I want to be able to say no. That cannot come into the house, please, please, please. And that says, and um, that comes from a man who have like two hundred souvenir dolls. Not voluntarily. <laughs> I never ask for them, and I can't throw them away because my parents spent, you know, 
all my childhood collecting those dolls yeah. for my sister who didn't want them and they ended up here. Yeah. Anyway, Arne. Well, um, okay, I, I will behave. Yeah, I hope you behave. So, uh, yeah, oh, f 15 minutes passed by really quickly when you're having fun. Already 15 Already minutes? Already 15 minutes, yeah. So, uh... The friend has been barking only one time. Only one time. And, and Helmer? Helmer is quiet. Okay, so this is the thing. So let's get back to Helmer before we finish. Uh, before we started this video, we said to Helmer, because the library is that away, and we said to Helmer, Go for Plassenden! Helmer! Go for Plassenden! Which means go to your space. And he did. He went there, and he's been there the whole time. Yeah. It's amazing. I mean... Yeah, a smart dog can get into a lot of trouble, but they are easy to train, easy to that's train. for sure. We should finish, Carlos. Yes, we I should. I think I have some cleaning to do. Uh, yeah, and we're going to be, you know, turning off cameras and talking about Christmas trees now yeah. for the rest of this day. Do you miss staying in that hotel with all the gold and everything? Oh, in Tonya? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, I do. You feel inspired? Should we put more gold in the house? Uh, well, we have an opportunity now that yeah. we're going to be we're gonna renovate. No, we're not decorating. We're renovating. We're, renovating. We're, we're fixing it because of all the all the issues that are you know in the building thing, the foundation and the, the fireplace and everything. I think we should put more gold and chandeliers in the house. Yeah, well, I don't know. We'll see about that. Okay. Anyway, there's a lot of color going on. Uh, around everywhere right now. I mean, just uh, let's pr bring up the, the sweater again, which is a very Col colorful sweater that Arne was wearing. I love the, the colors. Um, and Knit Stars right now is doing uh, their early bird sale for, um, for season six, which is all about color. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking forward to, to that. I mean, we're not on it. We're on, we are Knit Stars season three, and this is now season six. I can't believe how quickly time passes. Unbelievable. I, I can believe it. Yeah. <laughs> I saw a video of us for like how many years? Ago? Okay, okay. So anyway, anyway, <laughs> uh, changing the subject, it's it's nice that uh, nice to see all the new designers that are or teachers that are going to be teaching in it stars. It's all about color, and we have a nice affiliate link if you want to get season six of Knit Stars or if you want to get uh, one of the other seasons. Uh, they're available right now, and there is a link uh, down below here in the link in bio. And uh, you can click on that and get it. And it is available until um, Sunday, mm -hmm. which I think is May 9th or 8th. I'm not really sure. So it's third today, yeah? Uh, today, when you, when you, when you, when you, when you see this, it's the third. No, it's the third. Today when you is, see no, 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 this no, no, video, no. it's the fourth. No, fifth. Fifth. So today, okay, so let's start again. Today is May 3rd because it's a Monday and we record the podcast earlier. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, three, four, five, sit in it for a bit on the fifth, six, seven, eight, nine. So yeah, so on, so the, you can get Knit Stars, uh, either pre-order uh, season six or get any of the earlier seasons by clicking on the affiliate link that you will find uh, in the description below, as well as in the first comment here. Click on that and you can get that if you want. Um, and then uh, the early bird period is over on Sunday at, I suppose, 11.59 p.m. Pacific I, I don't time, know. Something like that. So if you want to if you wanna get that, there's a possibility. Um, and we will be back with a new episode on uh, Sunday. Mm. We're still doing brioche, um, my way. Oh, yeah, you're doing it on Sunday. No, you're doing it on Sunday. I'm doing it. I've been doing it. For the past two Sundays, you've been forcing me. Oh yeah, me, I force you. And now I'm gonna force you to do it my way, and it's gonna be a lot of fun. I don't remember; it's so long ago since we recorded. Yeah, we recorded it ages ago, yeah. but but it's gonna be a good one. So uh, you can look forward to that, and sit in it for a bit. We'll be back again uh, next Wednesday. And remember to subscribe. And if you subscribe, put on your notification because then you will have a message every time there is a new episode and you won't miss one. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that, put up your thumbs if you like. Yeah, it. thumbs or, ups and give us some uh, comments and some um, interaction, which we really love. And thank you so much for watching. So yeah. we'll see you again next time. Bye. Bye.